Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week on my blog, I am featuring the Bewitching stamp set from Stampin' Up. And today's project is a non-candy treat. I get asked often about treats that don't involve sugar because um, I know that some people need that. So that's what this is, a fun treat that you can hand out that doesn't involve sugar. Inside these little bags are Witch's Brooms pens and I got them from Amazon. When you go back to my blog, when you click the link here on YouTube and go back to my blog, you will find a link for both the pen and the bag. Both are from Amazon. All right, well, let's get started. Um, the first thing I wanna do is put the pen in the bag. And the bag is a little bit too long. Actually, let's see, do we want it facing up? Yeah, we'll have it facing up. I'm gonna uh, take my scissors and trim it down just a bit like that, all right? Now you also need a piece of basic black, all right? And it's five inches by three and a fourth. And you're just gonna score it in the middle and then put it on your bag like this and then take your stapler and staple. I used to make these for craft fairs. So if you're somebody who does craft fairs, this would be a great project. Um, to make to sell at craft fairs. They were very popular. All right, now I have a piece of our black and white designs, designer series paper. I'm gonna put that on there and then we're ready to make our cute little tag. All right, we are gonna stamp our hat in memento black and we're gonna color it with stamp and blends. I'm gonna do it down here on the bottom of my paper so that the punch can reach in and grab it easily. Um, I'm going to start with Parakeet Party Light. Uh, these Stampin' Blends are alcohol markers, and they have two ends. One is a bullet tip end, and one is a brush. I prefer the bullet end, but, you know, try it out. See which one you like the best. When I'm doing big surfaces, uh, large areas to color, that's when I use the brush tip. I also use the brush tip to flick color onto my projects. All right, I'm gonna give it all just a big coating. I'm not gonna worry about that hat band there because um, we're gonna we're gonna punch out our hat band out of something else. All right, so now I've got that. I'm gonna take my dark and I'm gonna just outline this spider web. All right, and then I'm gonna take my light and just kind of color that in a little bit. Like that. There we go. All right, so now I also wanna add a little bit of glimmer. So I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and just give it a nice coating of glitter. All right, now take your punch and punch it out. There we go. Now for the hat band, I'm gonna take some glimmer, glitter, glimmer washi tape, and I'm just gonna put, let's see, a piece of the purple and a piece of the orange, like that. And then I'm gonna take the hat band part of the punch right there and get those two like that. There we go. A little bit of Tombow and we'll set that down right there. All right, we're gonna give that some time to dry. We're gonna do some embossing. We're gonna use black and white embossing powder. Um, first on our black piece, I'm going to use white craft ink. I'm going to rub both of them with the embossing buddy that comes with the embossing accessory kit that releases any static that might be there that would cause your little uh, granules of embossing powder to stick in places that you don't want it to stick. Now this bewitching stamp set doesn't have any words. So I've pulled out another stamp set called Best witches and uh it has some great sentiments they really do go well together all right a little bit of white embossing powder on there and that looks pretty good all right now for 
the black. Let's close that up. I have a, um, a white stitched rectangle that I'm going to stamp these stars in Versamark. And then we're going to put black embossing powder on it. Now you can't see these stars because the Versamark is clear. Um, I'm just kind of going around the edge and stamping them all around the edge. All right, so now let's pour this on. See how it looks. If you flick the back of it, any stray granules will come off. And if not, you can use your little a paintbrush to get those out of the places you don't want them. All right, now I'm gonna heat it with the heat tool until it turns shiny. This one we can hold with our hands, but the other one we're gonna need to use our reverse tweezers. And it takes about 15, 20 seconds to hit that temperature, the right temperature, and as soon as it does, you'll see the white and the black turn shiny and slick. And that's how you know when it's done. Now let's put this, oh, we gotta cut this out too. Let's bring over our little cut and emboss machine. And we're gonna cut this out with a label that is from the Pretty Pillow Box. Um, dies, and I'm gonna frame it so that it's over on the right side. All right, let's get it all put together. I'm gonna use some dimensionals. We'll start with that stitched rectangle there in the middle, like that. And then we'll get our witch's hat and put that kind of to the side like that. And then I'm just gonna stick one back here and put it, let's see, maybe, let me see, I'm gonna turn that a little bit and put that right there there we go all right and that's it these are really easy to make and i think they're a lot of fun and i think um your trick-or-treaters or friends will absolutely love them all right guys let me know if you have any questions and happy halloween bye bye